Hey, this is Johnny Livingston, better known as J Cash the Hair Tech on Instagram. And I'm here at FSC today and I got something coming. We're gonna do a mid fade tutorial just for you guys. So let's get to it. So let's get started. We're gonna use the Babyliss FX673. I'm going to start with my first guideline all the way closed. I'm going to go just below the temple peak point. We're going to round that out just over the ear. We're not going to take it up too high, but we're going to make sure that that's cleaned out. And then we're going to bring that all the way to the back because we're doing a drop fade. And then we're going to stop there and then we're going to repeat to the other side. Make sure that you're flicking out just a little bit as you get to the top. That way it doesn't leave a line. Um, most of this fade, I'm going to be using like just the edge edges of the clipper uh, from the center over or less. So now that we started closed, we're just going to open a little bit and then we're going to go open all the way. So we already went through once and we uh, started with about the like second position. And we just went up a little bit. Now we're fully open and we're doing that again. We're going to go to the left side and then we're going to go to the right side. Remember, just as you're getting to the hair, you're going to flick up and get that C motion going. That way you're not leaving a line. And you make sure you're doing small increments. That way you do not go up higher than what need to be. So now we're going to use a three guard. And we're going to use a three guard to take out some of this bulk and we're going to go all the way up to the prattle ridge area and we're going to go straight up do not go into the hair <clears throat> into the crown area just go straight up from the prattle ridge area and then we're going to go back and we're going to do the other side all the way to the back make sure that you're going left and right make sure you're crisscrossing because hair grows in all different directions Don't just make one pass. Doing the same thing, make sure you're going straight up and down through the prattle ridge. Just doing a little bit more refining and a little bit more cleaning. Now we're gonna take the one guard and we're gonna do the same thing. I believe we're gonna do start with the one guard open and we're just gonna use the like the last three teeth. And I'm just gonna use the edges of the, of the blade. We're gonna go about halfway from our last guideline, just using the corners. And then you, you, you'll you see the dark spots and you just, just tap them. You just wanna feather them out just a little bit. And you can see from the shot when they go from, from the top that you can see the angle that I'm using. There it goes right there. And the angle is just everything because it keeps it clean and it keeps you from making other guidelines. Just keep cleaning it out, keep refining. Then we're going to go and we're going to start closing. And now we're going to go down. We're not going to keep going up towards the parietal ridge. We're going, we're actually fading down. And, we're, and what I was just showing there was the position open first, middle, and then closed. And just going to that last guideline, just touching it and then lifting away. Now we're going with the half guard and we're just going to touch that line and we're open and doing the same thing. We're just using the last three teeth of the uh, blade and we're just touching that line, just cleaning it out. And you'll see me float with the blade a little bit and you'll see me open it and close it, open it and close it. And I'm just cleaning out dark spots that are in the fade. But you see from the top angle that I've really got that angled out and I'm only using three teeth. You'll see me mess with the lever a little bit and it's open and then you'll see it closed and then that's just refining the fade and cleaning it out. Getting rid of any little dark spots that I see. I'm going to use my favorite comb, do some clipper over comb technique and we're just, remember you, we're not going into the crown area. You're coming straight up off the fade and we're coming out. And just cleaning off some of that bulk and refining it and making sure it looks really, really clean. Now we're going to go where we started, all the way closed, and we're just going to touch that line. And then we're going to go right into the beard, and we're going to start going down 
into the beard, opening slight increments and going about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch down and just using the corners again. And this is going to help separate it and um, make it real clean. You're just going to keep doing that all the way down, all the way up until we get the uh, one guard on. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to use the one guard and we're going to start with it open or closed and then we're going to open it up as we go down. Don't want to go down too far. I like to use the ear as a guide. Now here we are in the back <clears throat> and I wanted to show the contrast. I keep the hair there to show the contrast and I also wanted to show you two dark spots there that we're going to take care of later when we go with the clipper over comb. Now that is the Babyliss Original FX 765. Those are my balding clippers and my liners. And on here, we're just going to go right up to the line that we, that we started with. We don't want to go into that line yet. We're just going to go right up to it. And we're going to make sure the neck's real clean and on both sides. And then we're just going to do the same thing that we did before to get that line that I just showed out. We're going to use like the last three teeth. And you see my technique right there, just using that edge just to clean that up so that that line just virtually disappears. Almost want to use it like an eraser. Then we're going to do the other side, and you're going to see it just make sure you move the ears because it sucks when you nick somebody with the, with the uh, trimmers. It doesn't feel good. All right, now this is a technique I learned uh, using your powder. Uh, just roll a towel up. It's good for uh, sanitary reasons. And we're going to go into a little bit of clipper, or not clipper over comb. That's a scissor. Scissor over comb. We're using my thinning shears. And we're just going to soften that line up through the parietal ridge area. <clears throat> you see, just cutting everything that's right at the spine of the comb. Now there's those two areas that I was talking about earlier. We just keep working them until they start to blade, and, uh, blade, blend in and fade in with the rest of the hair. You don't want to play with them too much, but you want to play with them just enough so that it looks like everything else. And then we're going to go to the cut. So I started with a center parting, started in the back, moved towards the front. Um, I think we added a little bit of length as we went to the front. He's kind of got a faux hawk style. And once we go there, we're going to use just a slight angle after we get that front part cut. We're going to use just a slight angle because, like I said, we're kind of at a faux hawk and everything with his style is going to be pushed into the middle. So now I'm going to take uh, back to back partings to, to the last parting all the way from the back to the front. making sure that everything is nice and even, double checking. And the way I like to check is to go from front to back because we just went back to front. Then we're going to join the sides with the top and we're going to take those pieces and we're going to make sure that they're nice and even and that they're blended well, blending the side into the top part of the haircut. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. He had a couple of uh, calyx in there that we had to deal with, so and just shattering the front out a little bit just to soften it up, just to soften them ends up. And I'm going to show a technique with my thinning shears that I use, and it's basically cross-hatching. I already went one way from, from right to left. Now I'm going left to right in diagonal sections. Then I'm going to comb that out. And do beard, I already measured it, so I grabbed a three guard. And make sure you do not follow the contour of the face. You're going to start on the face, but you're going to go straight down. You don't want to follow the contour of the face and go into the beard and lose bulk in the beard. You just want to go straight down. Um, here I'm talking about his line his natural line of his beard and that's what I'm using to base where the uh, bottom part of the beard is to frame it just 
making sure that's real clean. We're going to go over to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Just cleaning that out. And we're not really going into the beard. We're just cleaning loose ends. He wanted to keep his beard. Here's a little trick I have before we line them up. Uh, you just use a spritz and uh, put it on neck strip. Put it on the hairline. Here I am talking about the temple peak point and where if we were to put a hard line on the temple peak point where it should be, it should be between the ridge of the eyebrow and the end of the eyebrow. So now I'm going to anchor my middle finger right to his cheekbone. And from that point, I should be able to make a full half circle, a full half circle, <laughs> a half circle. And uh, it should come with, it should make for a very good line. Then we clean up a little bit on the back side of the beard, all the way up to the ear. Make sure you're coming from the top to the center of the ear, and then you're going to fold the ear down. You're going to go from the bottom to the top again on the other side. And then we're going to go and do the same thing to the other side, but this time my anchor point is actually my wrist. And it does the same thing. And then we're going to clean his mustache off with my trimmers. A little bit of refined work if I see something is sticking out. Then I'm going to use my Andis Pro Foils uh, to clean the rest of that off, make it nice and smooth. And then I'm going to blow dry, uh, blow drying it the same way that I'm going to style it or that he's going to style it. And he likes to just push it to the middle, um, wants a, something that was quick and easy. So we're going to use the Maverick Dry Paste by Mitch. And this is a way I like to get it warmed up a little bit because sometimes the dry paste is a little hard. Um, we're going to start from the front. And then we're going to start putting it all through his hair. Now, this is a technique that I use to really pull out the texture. And it's just grabbing and twisting pieces. And if you need more, it's, there's always more on the palm of your hand. And then now I'm just refining a little bit more. And then look at that. Look at all that texture in that. Oh, we. Oh, we. We got a new man in the house. Cleaning him up. That's it. Here comes the shot emoji. Here it comes. Here it comes. Because I'm pumped up. He's pumped up. Happy clients. Bang, bang, bang. Thanks for watching. Free salon education on demand.